Hi guys and welcome back. In today's video, I'm sharing with you all my take on a Turkish pizza, also known as a Lamarcan pizza. So if you guys would like to see how to make this, keep watching. It's different, it's not traditional like what you're accustomed to, but I promise you, if you give this a try, you will love it. So to start this recipe, in my bowl, I'm using minced lamb. You can use any type of minced meat that you like. We're seasoning with salt, paprika, and if you want to use smoked paprika, you can. Pimento flakes. Now I got this here in South Florida at premium quality meats in Merama. In goes all-purpose seasoning. A natto or ruku powder, or you can use a little bit of the ruku liquid, but not too much. In goes two tablespoons of tomato paste. This is going to give it that distinct color, flavor, taste. One teaspoon of zatar. And now we're going to go ahead and give this a mix. Now I did forget to add in my chopped parsley, or you can use cilantro here if you wanted to. Or if you wanted to add some bandania, you can also do that. So add that in and give it a good mix. If you wanted to go in with your hands at this point in time, you can. Once mixed in properly, set it aside, let it marinate for about five to 10 minutes. Let's prepare the dough. So to my big bowl, I'm adding in my wet ingredients. I'm adding that first. In goes the salt. Yeast. sugar and this is a fast dough so the, the salt will not affect the yeast in goes my olive oil and I'm going to whisk that to dissolve the salt now if you guys have a problem with your dough getting too soft reverse this recipe and add the wet to the dry until it comes together go in with two cups of packed flour you don't want it to be loose because if you do use loose packed if you use loose flour and not packed, what is going to happen is when you start bringing it together, it's going to be very, very sticky and very, very soft. That's why if you're not accustomed, add the wet to the dry. And that way you can control how sticky your dough is. So once it comes together, stop adding. So now at this point, once it comes together, I'm going to go in and knead it for about five to eight minutes until the gluten forms and it's nice and it's smooth. This recipe is going to give you four mini pizzas. If you find your dough is sticky, you can add some additional dry flour until it comes together. Sprinkle with a little bit of oil and then you're going to cover it and just set it aside to relax for around five minutes. You don't want it to rest for too long. As I said, this is a quick do. Once it's finished resting, you want to flour your work surface. And I broke my, bowl, my dough into four balls and I'm going to open this out very thin. If you're having problems opening it out when you make the dough balls, the smaller balls, let it rest for about two minutes before rolling it out. This needs to be rolled out very thin as this style of pizza calls for a very thin crust. Usually lavash bread is used, so if you have that, you can use that. So I'm opening, it, opening out my dough very thin. Make sure you use enough dry flour so that it doesn't stick. And I'm liberally flouring another surface with cornmeal. And I'm going to place that rolled dough onto the cornmeal. This is going to prevent it from sticking when it's time to transfer. Now I'm going to top with my seasoned meat and you need to spread that out evenly in a thin layer. And you'll notice no sauce, no cheese, nothing goes onto this. This is how you're going to make it and it goes into your oven. Now I'm using my pizza oven. If you don't have a pizza oven, use your regular oven and bake it at 500 degrees Fahrenheit for about a minute to two. It's not going to take very long. So I'm transferring that onto my pizza peel. You guys saw how easy the transfer was. And now it's going to go into my uni pizza oven. It's not going to take very long to cook because that base is very thin. The heat is at 500 degrees Fahrenheit. And I'm using my dabbler to help me to maneuver the pizza to move it around so that it cooks evenly. 
I'll link it in the description box if you're interested in getting one. And when it's done, you take it out. And just how just look how perfect this looks, guys. It smells totally amazing. If you've never had this type of pizza before, I tell you, it's so good. I like topping it with some chopped fresh parsley and some sliced onions. You can even top it with some feta cheese if you like. And that's it. Your pizza is now ready to be served. So I hope you guys enjoy today's recipe. Make it and let me know down below what you think. Listen to the crunch on this pizza, guys. It's so amazing. I'm going to bite into it so you guys can hear just how crunchy that base is. So guys, try this recipe. Let me know what you think. Thank you all so much for joining me today. Do remember to stay safe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye everyone. Okay.